Well, where we are right now is yesterday morning a container arrived with the first two A32 Vixens for Australia. This magnificent green machine and a yellow one and they're the first two customer aircraft to arrive here at Moorabbin. Uh, we're in the facility here. This is CAE Aircraft Maintenance at uh, Moorabbin Airport and as you can probably see there's uh, all manner of aircraft ranging from jet twins to twin engine aircraft here and so on. Uh, but we have to put the aircraft together to certain standards and make sure that they are properly put together, the paperwork's done properly and so on. So um, when they arrive in the container they're all in metal frames to protect them during their journey and uh, the guys empty them out of the container and uh, then start removing all of the various parts. The wings are down each side of the fuselage, the tailplane, the wing struts and so on are all removed for each aircraft, laid out ready for us to um, install the various bits and pieces. The aircraft have been test flown by the factory. It's a mandatory requirement under the LSA regulations that the aircraft are test flown by the factory before they're shipped out. Um, so they've all been test flown and a test flown, uh, a flight test sheet is completed for each aircraft before it's dismantled and put into the container ready for shipping. When they get here, it's in theory, it's a simple job just to put the wings back on, put the tail on, put the propeller on. The propeller, the factory uses its own standard propeller to ensure that all the test results are comparable in that they have the same propeller on every aircraft for test flying. But we set the propeller up here according to the factory requirements. Uh, I usually do the propellers because it's a simple, straightforward job. But every single part of the process is double inspected by qualified engineers. Uh, every bolt that goes in to hold the wings on, every bit of the propeller, every bit of the engine and uh, is inspected, dual inspected and before the paperwork is completed for each aircraft. Well, we do get now, with the Vixens anyway, the stripe and the registration are put on by a special graphics guy, although I have my uh, graphics supplier for all the other decals and labels up in Queensland I've been using for quite a few years now. He's very, very good. Um, yeah, if you count everybody, well, there's the decal guy. Um, there are a couple of engineers, uh, Alistair and Peter, who primarily put the aircraft together. Um, and then John, the senior engineer, who has to do the dual inspections and check those off. So that's three there. To get the wings on, ideally you need four people, um, uh, one at the wing tip, two at the wing roots, and one putting the bolts in to make sure it all, all goes together properly. So just for a short period of time, there might be four people working on the aircraft at any one time. Okay, four, uh, four to the tip. Uh, in of touch. In of touch. There we go. Well, the aircraft should normally be ready. I mean, we've got the two here. They only arrived around about 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock yesterday, and it's now only about the same today, so 24 hours later. I would imagine the majority of the aircraft would be together and ready by probably 48 hours after they arrived, maybe two days. But then <laughs> we get into the paperwork and that's all got to be completed correctly for the, um, the CASA approved person. We use Darren Barnfield uh, to check all the paperwork, make sure everything's completely in order and um, sign them off before we apply to CASA or RA Australia for the registration. And the paperwork and the application probably between them take I'd say seven to ten working days, so that's a, a week to two weeks to get the paperwork sorted, the photographs, we have to photograph everything inside the aeroplane, the, the instrument panel, the registration decals, the warning decals on the aircraft, everything has to be photographed so that the aircraft is as it is when it goes out of the uh, facility here. But the paperwork is a joke in aviation of course that you can't fly the aeroplane until the weight of paper exceeds the weight of the aeroplane and sometimes I think that might well be true. Because of import costs and other taxation requirements uh, in the country of manufacture in the Ukraine can be quite high. So the factory does all of what it calls the pre-installation work. So it's plug and play throughout the whole aircraft, whether it's a simple analog panel with a VHF radio or whether it's a full-blown dyne-on and a transponder. It's all plug and play, but we source the um, equipment 
through Australia, so it's covered by Australian warranties, there shouldn't be any problems and so on. And it's all plug and play. Just occasionally the supplier of the radios is out of stock and we have to wait for a, a few days or even a couple of weeks on occasion. Um, so all the time we're just keeping an eye on um, you know, the availability of parts and uh, particularly the avionics for the aircraft. Uh, once the aircraft's been signed off, we can't fly it until it's been officially registered by CASA or RA Australia. Um, and then once that's done, again, it's an LSA um, certification mandatory requirement that each aircraft is test flown again after it's reassembled. And I just take it through a basic process out. Um, first of all, uh, the engine's been thoroughly run by the engineers already because they check the engine out, they have to take it out to calibrate the compass and all of that kind of stuff. So the engine's been probably run for half, three quarters of an hour by the time I get to it, plus the factory test flight. Um, so I take it out, do a few circuits, make sure all the trim tabs are bent correctly and the plane flies pretty straight and then out to the training area, up to three and a half thousand feet, a few stalls, a few steep turns, with and without flat, make sure it's all okay. Check out how fast it goes straight and level, just make a brief note of the RPM and everything else to see that the plane performs the way it should do. Come back, do a few more touch and goes, and that's it. Top it up with fuel and it's ready for the customer.